just one correction, though. I'm, I'm not a normalizer. I don't have any... I've never normalized anything. Not. So, um, in any case, it's it's interesting because one of the, one of the things that I think uh, before I talk about what I wanted to talk about was just to talk a little bit about something that concerns this um, ability for us. To, to be unified in hearts, but not always unified in positions and opinions. Um, and I think that's really important because sometimes we often forget that there are different ways of viewing circumstances and conditions. The Allah has made us brothers and sisters um, and, and we have families are families. You always have uncles that they don't want invited to the holiday, but they come anyway. And so it's okay. Alhamdulillah. No, no, I, alhamdulillah, I feel the love. But, you know, even uh, I, I'm sympathetic with these voices, so please don't misunderstand me. I, I am. I, I understand the... But I, I really believe that I have been misrepresented. So, I, I, you know, and I, I really think that... I, I've never called for normalization. I, I've always supported the Palestinians. I, I wrote the Dua Nasiri, which is a book. I mean, I wrote that and dedicated it to the Palestinian people. Um, I have some of my dear friends here that came with me from California are Palestinians. Yesterday, a man from Gaza actually came to me and just thanked me for helping him get his Islam back. Um, so I know there's people. I. I, I I, 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 received, I received a message during this whole crisis from Gaza, and actually Kim Iverson had me, uh, interviewed me because somebody from Gaza, who she met in Palestine, um, actually, from the West Bank, sorry, actually told her, when you go back, please interview this person. Um, and, and so, um, you know, I, inshallah, like I said, I, I, the, it's a difficult time, and I feel the pain. I have the pain myself. Um, we've shed a lot of tears in the last couple of months. I actually spent the last two months doing a very deep dive into the Palestinian issue. I read several books on it. I interviewed Chris Hedges. We, I actually was the one that invited Chris Hedges here to speak. So, And, and I, I think Chris Hedges, uh, he articulates very much uh, my views about it, so um, I just feel like I've been miserable. But that's okay also. I mean, there's just, you know, this is an age of uh, just a lot of um, falsehoods. The Prophet ﷺ said, uh, that the truthful one will be called a liar and the liar will be called a truthful one. It's just part of the time we're, we're living in. There's a lot of, it's a cancel culture, but I, I think it's important to remember the Prophet was, was, he always had dialogue. He always listened to people. He, one of his sunnahs is not to interrupt people when they're speaking. You can disagree with people, it's okay. Um, but these are the sunnah. He also never raised his voice. Um, they, they, Imam, uh, in the Shifa, it says, ma kan of sahaban fil aswaq. He never raised his voice in the marketplace, which is the one place where people can raise their voice. He was actually a soft-spoken person, sallallahu alayhi wasallam. He was a gentle person by nature. He's called Rahmal al-Alameen, the mercy of all the worlds. He was a mercy to uh, everybody, including the Jews. He was a mercy to the Jews. They, uh, many of them rejected them, but not all of them. And some of them uh, deeded property for the Muslims in Medina, and others were treacherous. Uh, and the Quran is very fair uh, about them. We've seen many young Jewish people 
coming out, one of the things that Chris told, uh, said after being here, he said, it's so wonderful to see so many young people. He said, the Zionists are all old. He said, the young Jews are out demonstrating against them because um, the whole idea of an ethnostate is an anachronism. The idea of an ethnostate, that there should be states solely for one type of ethnicity, it's an anachronism. Most people don't accept this idea anymore, except for marginalized people. There are people in Canada that don't want to see the diversity, but Canada is a diverse uh, country now. And, and these are the changes. So anyway, a, a lot in the, in, around the dome of the Prophet's mosque, they, they wrote, قُلْ كُلٌّ يَعْمِلُ عَلَى شَاكِرَتِهِ Everyone will act according to their nature, their shakila. فَرَبُّكُمْ أَعْلَبُ بِمَنْ هُوَ أَهْدَى sabila. Your Lord knows who are the most guided. So one of the things that's important to remember as a community is, for instance, my, the, the aqidah that I worship Allah with is from Imam Tahawi's book. I translated it into English. It's what I want to meet my Lord with. I follow Imam Malik's uh, madhab, and, and I believe in Imam Junaid as salik that, that, that is, that's the Islam that I, that I embrace, that's the Islam that I teach, and it's the Islam that I love. And I, there's other people that have different views about dunya, like we're all trying to navigate this world. It's not an easy place to navigate. 